I'm begging you. I don't know if you ladies are married, but the first thing I realized when I got married, you know what? And so I had to find a way to like buy this ice cream without my husband knowing. So I started doing things like going to Walgreens, hi, I would like some pads, and also can I have $10 cash back, and can you spend this cash on this ice cream? <laughs> problem. When you bring your milkshakes, and then you go to the laundry room to dump the shake and the receipt, you have a problem. <laughs> when you go to work, because I used to work at a call center, and before it used to be like, I will buy a milkshake on Friday to celebrate not burning this place down. <laughs> and then you say, I'm going to buy ice cream after each shift. And then you say, I almost did it. Then you say, yeah. screw it all. I'll buy this ice cream at 6 a.m. before my This is a real thing. <laughs> buy this ice cream at 6 a.m. before my shift. Because, Lord Jesus, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. It was crazy. I actually, like, gained weight. I looked the same, but I knew I had a problem when within 12 months, I ripped eight pairs of pants. <laughs> that is wild, especially because I've been wearing, like, the same pants since high school. So the solution was, number one, <sighs> stop buying ice cream. Oh, it's hard. I don't. You guys do not understand. Like, my life right now is, I say, please, Papi, I need candy. And then he's like, okay, go in the laundry room. And I wait in the laundry room with my earphones in so that he can go and take the candy out of the secret spots. <laughs> coming to that time of the month and so I'm almost 30 I'm gonna be 30 in April and I'm excited but I'm also exhausted the one thing I'm exhausted about is Yumi said she had kids at 37 girl <laughs> at like 29 I am ready to just scrape this room up like what is it for? what is it good for like why? Why? Like every time I have my period, I just want to be like, Lord Jesus, just take me now. Just like, just end my life. I really hate it. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have like endometriosis, maybe. But <coughs> bad advice from my mom. My mom said, don't take any mitol. You gotta push through the pain because you could get addicted. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to travel from Saint Martin to the Netherlands for undergrad, to back to St. Martin, to Chicago for my roommate to tell me, oh baby, you can't get addicted to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many periods I have to suffer through. <laughs> <laughs> and right now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because on one hand, I don't like newborns, I like toddlers. But on the other hand, I hate my period. And I'm kind of like, husband, can we get pregnant so I can take a vacation? <laughs> just, just take it. Get it away with me. So anybody else here is a type A? Are you like into making lists and spreadsheets? I'm the only one? No. 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 Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah. That is. Oh, I right. have a yeah, we're all we're all all As a type A person, I don't know what I was doing, but I never really dated. I was just like, do the things you want to do. If a dude finds you, he's going to like say, hey, I like you, and like stop you, and like, I don't know, stop from romance movies. I woke up one day, I was 25. I was like, oh snap. By my calculations, if I want to be married at 27 and maybe have kids at 30, I should probably start dating. You know, you can't be like, hey, this is my fiance, we met 30 days ago. That doesn't look right, right? So 
I use OkCupid. Has anyone ever been on OkCupid? So this is my thing. I didn't go Match.com because I was like, I don't want to pay money. And I thought OkCupid okay, would be like a fun, nice place. I didn't realize it was like the dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And so I put into OkCupid okay, everything that I ever wanted in a guy. I was like, he has to be like five miles away from Northwestern because I'm not, I'm not traveling for the D. He needs to be like nah. this <laughs> And it showed up with two dudes. Only two dudes in all of OkCupid. So, the first guy, I knew it was trouble because every time I looked at him, I kept going, why don't you look like you broke up? You know? But like, I was thirsty. <laughs> we were 80% match. Like, can we, can we make it work? And eventually it didn't work because he was like, he was following some weird Christian dating thing that I could only touch him where his skin was uncovered. So if today he was wearing a long sleeve, I could only hold his hand. But if next week he was wearing a cap sleeve, I could maybe brush his arm. And I just was like, I love Jesus. So I found my husband. I opened up the margins to non-black identifying men. And my husband was there, and his profile said that he was hearing impaired, he wore hearing aids. And I don't know if you know, I know that you don't know, but I am a deaf junkie. I love ASL culture, like people love anime, I love deaf people. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, right? And so I showed up on the first day, and I was like, hi, I'm Anisia. And he says, what? Hi, I'm future husband. And I was like, you can't hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. And I was like, where is this? And he was like, what? I was like, aren't you deaf? And he was like, no, I have a hearing aid right here. <clears throat> and my lady boner went down. <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't an outside thing or a headpiece thing. And I was just like, I don't know, no. I don't know, no, no. I can't compute what's happening. <laughs> but I'm happy to report that when he gets angry, he does need to death flip. And I'll be like, <laughs> 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 I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs>